I said, life is a long story, as the plot thickens. I returned it to the library in my mind and declined to read any more of your lies. I'm more non-fiction. No gem but the bars lifted. Got my exes been out of shape, even though every picture they take probably located at a one life fitness I flex. First to death and they ain't trying to hear it. Jewish chick refused to get in my car cause it's German engineering. She promised not to step foot inside of that drop at all. You see my jewels, so how much me trying to holocaust? Left wrist looking like I dropped a whole bottle of Voss When I should have put every dollar inside of a vault Then I go balling out my mom irresponsible Which is kind of true That's why every time you call me out on it There's no response for you I'm used to poverty Having money still kind of new Who would have knew that I could buy Donna or Donna Karen Just for Donna Karen Went to sleep with more friends than I woke up with Fake friends fade away until they no longer a parent Hit the stew and dead beats like I'm no longer a parent Woo! <laughs> Hey, Keep I'm going. too tired. Arthur committing arson, and he always writing some new fire. Remember walking all the bad bitches blue bias. Now they speeding to sex me on two tires. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. How does it feel knowing I was a man that you could have loved? Now you paranoid asking questions like, do UFOs gave you space when you was reaching for stars? I was high on Mars making love to an alien listening to Jupiter love. Alien? No visa, no green card. But this card is a visa. Swipe and spin green, it's a green card. Dive in the ocean like Jacquees. Watch you do great writing, give me some mean jobs. Oh, mm, I've mm. been in hell of my whole life, I wanna see God. I've been fed my whole life, my car should cost three large. 300, <laughs> 300k Sean, stop it with all the cockiness. That's why the Glock by the hip like a potamus. Cause niggas hungry like hippos always trying to rob and shit. Especially when you walk around town in a robin fit. Let's bet man that the bottom of the kick's red like robin fit. I'm a hero, but team over the only time I had a sidekick. Anybody hating, anybody screaming lot shit is guaranteed to get a punch in their face and they sidekick. Mmm. Mmm. I can turn your bad girl turn good into that thought again. All I gotta do is take away whatever the party is. She makes pills with the drinking, oxycotton with the sebums, hardly breathing, even though she on oxy, gin, and a couple other drugs that I probably won't name. She said if she can't turn up, she don't party the same. I spit fire, but this water on my neck is to put out all of the flame. If she want more and more, not you anymore, it's because you probably a lame. Sean. Woo, Sean. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bars. Nice. Yeah. Now I got one question. What's up? Who wrote that? You looking at him. <laughs> you looking at him. Oh you looking at him. I got the book on deck. I'm ready. Woo! Yeah, that was hot. Yeah, appreciate it. You know what it is, man. DJ Thorough, aka Thorough Zano, the bridge to the streets. Right now, you're watching the hottest in the streets. Right here on thisis50.com. Got special guests in the building. Introduce yourself. What's going on? I go by the name of Sean Moore, man. You know how I'm rocking, man. Straight from VA 757, LOT, stand up. Came out, was good. VA, man. Yeah. I got an issue with VA right now. Why is that? All you racist motherfuckers in Charlottesville. <laughs> oh, that ain't my side of town. That ain't my side of town? That ain't my oh, side of town. I got an issue with them, man. Yeah, yeah. That ain't Where you from? I'm from Chesapeake. Oh, you from Chesapeake? Yeah, that's yeah, that's on the other side. Oh, that's on the other side? Yeah, yeah. All right, well, stay from over there, man. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, definitely. Stay from over there. We don't need to go over there, man. We not with all that racist <laughs> book negativity shit. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. We not with that. Because real talk, the real racists and the real rapists and the real killers and and all that is actually the white people that came over here and killed everybody. <laughs> and the irony of that is they look at us like we do. We the fucking killers. Man, hey. But that's another story. That's that's a National Geographic special. Hold on, situation. Yeah, that's a whole other special. You know, I had, I had I had to speak on shit like that. Yes. You a Trump supporter, man? <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> hey, he's media trade. I like that. <laughs> so listen, you out here in NYC. This your first time here in the city? Yeah, it's my first time. Last time I came here, I was like four years old. I'm yeah. Now, so it's, it's hey, good. welcome to the city, man. Oh, we, we, we welcome you here. You know. Appreciate it. We Thank love you. black people here. Thank oh yeah, <laughs> I believe you. I see it. I see it. <laughs> we love them here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Exactly. So what you got going on today? What are we promoting? Um, I just recently dropped a uh, project called Overtime Forever. Overtime, you know? okay. Yeah, uh, basically the title is because I've been putting in a lot of work. You know what I'm saying? A lot of hours, a lot of blood, a lot of sweat, a lot of tears. Because I got a lot of reasons that I'm doing this music. You know right. what I'm saying? Shout out to my son at home, Jaden. Jaden, you know what what's up, Jaden? Yeah, yeah. Just How's your bedtime, Jaden? <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, right? Because he's watching this probably 12 at, at night. He's watching this. Yeah, yeah, more than likely. Right. 
So you got. You said you have a. I'm sorry. You said you have a lot. You've been through a lot, and you have a lot to say. Speak on it. Yeah. Um. As far as me being a lyricist, you know what I'm saying. I Ooh, definitely want that to be words, out there. Favorite words, lyricist. Yeah, and okay. I stand behind that. You know okay. What I'm saying? It's, it's a lot of. Well, you're gonna have to sit on this couch, but that's. Oh yeah, thing. yeah, but yeah. <laughs> so no you know when you talk lyricists, you know who my favorite rapper is of all time? Who? Big L. Oh yeah, and I and I can relate because my favorite rapper is Jay. So when, okay. I, when I think of that, so you know I'm hard to impress. That's cool. You know that, right? Yeah, that's cool. My big my favorite rapper is Big L. That's the bar master, the punchline <laughs> king. I'm about bars. You know what I'm saying? I'm about bars. Big yeah. L. You know I should write some of your stuff though. You know that, right? Nah, I'm fucking with you. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm fucking with you. So why do you, um, in today's generation of rappers, the majority don't feel a need to focus on bars and lyrics, right? Why do you? Um, I focus on bars and lyrics because that's what I grew up on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these rappers and artists, they, they, they younger. Not saying that the younger generation don't care about lyrics, but it's just different type of music that they came on. Like My first album that I ever received was uh, Jay-Z Reasonable Doubt. Okay, good album. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's my favorite artist. Right. So, not saying that I'm trying to be like him, but you know what I'm saying? Everybody got a role model. Everybody got their favorite artist and what right. they like. So, I definitely chase after that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, so growing up in VA, see, a lot of people don't know VA in New York, it's, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, they go they go together because a lot of dudes from New York just come to VA and get money and yeah. vice versa. That's like a whole like it's a lot of people from New York and VA. A lot of people from up here got down south family from VA. Right. You know it goes hand in hand. You know like definitely. So but growing up in VA, who were you listening to other than the whole? Like how did you get into hip hop? Um, my uncle Eric. Shout out to my uncle Eric. He was the one that got me that album. So okay. that's, that's how I did start was right. on hold. You know what I'm saying? But as far as Virginia, uh, I definitely was listening to the whole Pusha T, the clips. Oh, yeah, we gonna for talk real. about that. Yeah. Right. That, right. Was, that was definitely, I know what you're talking about too. That yeah, was yeah. crazy. That yeah, was crazy. What, yeah. what's your, I mean, you might be biased with this, but uh, you're from VA. I mean, that's not why though. Like I said, who do you, who I'm, do you, who do you give that, who did you give that, who were you push. going for? Push. <laughs> push. Like right. I said, I'm a bar for bar artist, and he is too. Right. So I gotta give my respect what it's due. You know what I'm saying? So definitely. Not saying that Drake isn't, Full of bars or whatnot, but it's just that raw feel, that hip hop feel when I hear push rap. So right. I just relate more relatable. Okay, yeah. I feel you. Um, let's talk about this, this a song you have out right now. Your single, your project. What's out right now that they can refer to and check out? Um, like I said, man, Overtime Forever. That's on Spinrilla Audio Mag. Uh, you can go on YouTube, check me out. My single is called Champagne. I uh, just dropped the video off. Uh, okay. it's, it's definitely crazy. We shot it out in uh, Miami. Right. It was, okay, it was explain that title. Is it, is it self explanatory or? I mean, it's a lot of fun. Because I'm uh, taking champagne, pop a bottle. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's, right, what, right. that's what you're going to see in the video. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's great. It's fun. It's a good vibe. Right. I'm always giving off positive vibes. So, right. you know what I'm saying? You're going to definitely have fun. Now, now, see, there's a misconception in hip hop. People think you can't have a good time and have party songs and still be lyrical. Oh, that, that's There's, that's the biggest misconception in the world. And listen a, to me, and that'll change. And a perfect example I use is Big was the best to ever do that. Mm -hmm. he party and still say some dope shit. Right. Even Pop have you know Pop used to say dope shit, yeah. but you still partying to it. Yeah. So a lot of artists think you can't be lyrical and still party and still in, in, in a song and still come off and, you know have a good time. Yeah, you it sounds listen. people think when you you're lyrical they think it's preachy or it's something you have to just sit and listen to. You can't. Groove with it, you know. How do you want that fine line of of uh, still being lyrical content but still entertaining at the same time? Um, I just, in a club setting, I just try to be my best to be myself. You know, I just try my best to be myself, and it just happens naturally. It's just organic. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like I'm my worst critic, so I can't put out any garbage. You know what I'm saying? I can't put out some just because the beat is hard. I feel like that's gonna save me on a, on on, on right. instrumental. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like I have to save the beat. Right. So that's why the lyricism comes in. So how do you feel about the current state of hip hop right now? I don't like it. You know? So who don't you like? Who's who's in your I, opinion, who's fucking up hip hop? Nah, I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna speak on who's fucking it up, but it is fucked up. Who's fucking up hip hop? That's nah. my next question. Nah, I, you, no, you I don't have an answer know? for that. Nah. You have an answer for that? Yeah, nah. you're a media train. I like this guy. I know who's gonna bring it back though. Who's gonna bring it back? Me. Yo, you, you sit next to him, my nigga. Yes. Ooh. Yes from the lot, man. I'm Ooh. straight out of there. You, you know what I'm saying? You, yeah. You, you, you like that, huh? Yeah, definitely. Okay. It's a million motherfucking rappers doing what you do. It's a million nice ones, a million trash ones too. What are you doing differently to stand out instead of fit in? Um, it's an easy answer because I'm versatile. You okay. know what I'm saying? One song you might hear the average. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the car. I got money. I got hoes. Next song you might hear me talking to a female like, "Look, I'm sorry, I'm fucked up." Because that's real life. I write all my songs based off of emotion. Right. You know what I'm saying? Not trying to 
be somebody I'm not. I'm just being who I am right here right. from the heart. So yeah, that's why. And a lot of people try to be who they see on TV or who they see on YouTube or whatever right. the case may be, instead of being who they was born to be, which is themselves. Right. Yeah. You know, you got on the big. You got, you went that jersey reminds me. So you know, do you realize you look like David Ortiz, Big Pop? <laughs> you know. <what> <laughs> Did you ever get that? Nah, I get Rick Ross all the time though. No, you look like David Ortiz. I'm like looking at you without the beard. <laughs> <laughs> you look like David Ortiz, man. You sure that's not your father or somebody, man? You look like you, you look like Keith Sweat. <laughs> I get that. I get that. I'm not. Oh, let me stop. But anyway, but um, I lost my train of thought. That was a good <laughs> nah. I get I get that. People say that. I get that. You got the good hair, man. I'm jealous though. <laughs> Cause I chop my shit off. I like this guy. I like this guy. So, yo, listen. If anybody like want to follow you or get in contact with you, how can they do that? Um, you can search me on Facebook, Vance Moore. You can search me on my Instagram, I am dot Sean Moore. Right. Uh, it's S E A N M O O R E. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's I am dot S E A N M O O R E. My Twitter is uh, Sean Moore five two eight. Right. Other than the clips, right? Uh huh. Name me some famous artists from VA. Uh. Missy, mm -hmm. uh, Timberland, mm -hmm. Teddy Riley from VA. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of know it's stuff. A lot of yeah, man. I, I, I listen to all types of music. You know what I'm saying? That's why I feel like right. Pharrell. Out. Yeah, Pharrell. Yeah, I definitely speak on him. Where's Mr. Magoo at? Remember Magoo? That used to be with Timberland. Uh, <laughs> Where yeah. the fuck is he at? I don't know. I'm gonna man. tell you another another dude you left off. You talking about lyrics, right? Mm -hmm. Mad skills. Oh yeah, he's come on, that. baby. I do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You right, you right. I do this up here. The end of the year wrap up. Come on, man. I was looking skills. forward to the end of the year. Yeah, you right. Damn it. Yeah. Shout out to Mass Skills. Shout out to Skills, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That record, everybody, movie body, everybody. That was a hot record, man. We're big on the hook. Dope. That was hard. Yeah, dope, dope shit, dope shit, dope shit. So listen, is there anything you want to cover that we have not covered? That you want to let the people know about yourself? I got plenty of music. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And I, I don't have plenty of rap songs, I have plenty of music. It's a difference. Right. I'm not a rapper, I'm an artist, it's a difference. Okay. I'm not a one hit wonder, I'm a legend in the making. That's You're a career difference. artist. Exactly. That's what I like to call people, career exactly. artists. That, yeah. that, that, that they're, they're artists. And I guarantee if you search my music and you search my tape, listen to the first one. they're going to search you after, after what I do, what I'm going to do, they're going to search. Because yeah. you give me ammo to use so I can put you out there correctly. Okay. Appreciate it. Appreciate no. it. So once they take a look at me, they're gonna understand why I say what I say and I stand behind that. So right. Yeah. But yeah, that's 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 definitely what it is. All right. Now are you doing any shows, any performances? And oh yeah, um, and all that? I'm always performing, man. I just came off a, a show in Miami. Okay. We did a show in Miami Live. We did South by Southwest. That was in Texas. Okay. We did uh, Myrtle Beach Bike Week. Bike Week. That was yeah. In South Carolina. So that was big out there. Right. Yeah. So it's great, man. I'm about to go to Cali next. Okay. I think we got a show in the Bahamas, I believe, too. Oh, you moving, man. Trying to, trying to. Moving, man. Put yeah. me on that flight, man, and go over there with you, man. You know how we rocking, man. You know it. You know <laughs> it's it. like this happened, man. Let's get focused right now, man. What Always. are you doing? Exactly. Let them know the name, man, one more time, man. Sean Moore, man. S-E-A-N-M-O-O-R. Now, that name, is that your government, or where does that name come from? What is that? Yeah, that's, right my, that's my name. Oh, Sean Moore. Yeah. All right. But I can't, works. you know what I'm saying? I was, I'm too big to be the little, you know, the little pump, the little, right. the little, I'm too chubby for that. So, right. so too <laughs> fuck it, you know what I'm saying? Just, right. What they call me is what they call me. Right. You know what I mean? So, yeah, Sean, that's my name. Sean Moore. Hey, it works. Yeah. It goes. <laughs> hey, I'm not mad at you. So, that's what it is, man. Sean Moore. You already know. VA in the building, man. He's carrying on that legacy of them dope VA artists, man. Yeah. All right, make sure y'all support him and check him out. Thank you. It's DJ Thorough, man. How to send the street. This is 50.com. Y'all know what I do up here, man. I bring you undiscovered talent, man. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about popularity. I'm about talent. Nigga, can you rap? Can you dance? Can you sing? That's what I want to know. Perfect question. You know what I mean? So with that being said, when you see us, one knee us. Let me pay respects. Hey. Yeah. 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 So.